Okay, let's continue with the moth slide. So this is the last scene from the previous video. So I'm just gonna get here and get rid of the rig. And now that I have my geo root here, I'm gonna keep it, I'm not gonna delete it. So we can use it as a reference for the next uh, part of the guide. So in this case, the guide, it's gonna be very simple to add. We need to add only three, three components, three control zero one. So go to shifter, guide manager. And these components are to be set on the root of the guide. So I don't want to put it here on the root of the, um, the face. Just gonna put it under the guide root. And the reason because we do it like this is because this is gonna be a local rig that works by his own. And we're gonna create these uh, ghost controls that it's gonna be attached on the final rig. So we don't want to have this, um, this connected inside the rig right now. Okay, so let's search here, control zero one. So just gonna create the first one. That's gonna be down there. Just move it in the middle of the mouth around there and this is gonna be called a um, mouth slide it's gonna be slide in the mouth and by the way the slide in the mouth is when you you do this kind of thing or and like this and it's sliding over your uh, teeth or your face skull okay so this is good just gonna use circles here i want join don't want this uh, mirror behavior yes even here it's the center but we just say yes and we'll do a check yeah it's a circle good so now duplicate one just put it on the corner of the mouth doesn't need to be perfect to be honest just around and i'm just gonna face it so it looks like closer to the tangent of the face and this is gonna be mouth uh, corner and it's gonna be left side and it's gonna be zero okay so we have this it's mirror so means i can mirror duplicate and i have the guide so one last thing i want to do is i'm just going to build this separated so select this and build only these uh, three components and i'm just gonna gonna take the the shape of the curve and adjust it so we have something a little nicer here So as you can see, I, I use lots of hotkeys. So it's a bit easier for me to navigate. Okay. Oh no, normally I put like a shape that is not completely circular. And the reason because I do that, it's if you rotate later, it's easy to see the orientation. So if you use the circle, it's it's a circular. So doesn't make too much sense to visualize that okay so last thing just make a oval here and adjust a little bit just spend some time with your controls i mean this is not perfect by any means but the animator will, will be glad to have something that have some kind of meaning between like the actual behavior or functionality of the control and the shape okay let me get um hide the guide and mm, i still don't like that just mm, oops Hold on. as you can see I, I added both at the same time so i ensure it's symmetrical you can symmetrize from left to right with the rig bits tool but when it's like center you better take care of that because the tool will not resymmetrize an asymmetric control it's just from left to right control
Okay, I think it's good enough. So select all three and go here and extract control. So it's gonna be stored here and inside the guide. And that's it for this part of the video. Let's continue in the next one.